and welcome to Take 5 with the Regional Chamber. I'm Kim Calvert. The country's third largest truck leasing company is headquartered right here in the Valley. AIM Transportation Solutions started here in the early 1900s and continues to grow through economic downturns and global pandemics. Talia Hagler visited AIM to find out what has made them so successful. AIM Transportation Solutions is set up to help just about any company in need of transportation services in the U.S. They're headquartered in Girard, but have 100 operations across the country with 1,200 employees and 11,000 vehicles. We're a service provider. Actually, our motto is service is our only product. Um, and we hold that true you know, to, in everything we do as you know, customer comes first. AIM can do a number of things for their customers. They can supply the truck and provide all of the necessary maintenance bumper to bumper to keep the truck operational. Or they can provide the full service of transportation, which includes the truck, the driver, and the logistics to move whatever the company needs from one location to the next. If those two services don't work for a customer, maybe they fit into Ames brokerage division. Our operations, you know, they're still in certain pockets. So, you know, we can have a, a customer in Oklahoma where we don't have an operation and we can facilitate the transportation for their product. With so many trucks in circulation across the country, AIM decided to enter the used truck market, selling between 800 and 1,000 trucks a year. Of course, that's one more aspect of the business that didn't exist when the company got its start in the early 1900s, when the current leadership's great-grandfather started using a horse and buggy to take luggage from the Youngstown train station to people's homes. AIM has obviously had incredible growth since then, including during this difficult last year. We had three purchases last year, uh, three major purchases, one in Indianapolis for about 450 units. We did about 70 units in, in Columbus was a, a, another, uh, <clears throat> another purchase. And then we also had an affiliate that we bought out um, was another purchase. So we, we've been continuing to grow even in the hard times of COVID. Um, we've, we've been truly blessed to, to be able with our team to keep moving forward after, after such a, a tough 2020. As AIM looks towards the future, they're focusing on keeping their employees safe, growing their team, and expanding the business, all while maintaining the high standards of the company and being good stewards to the community. For Take 5 with the Regional Chamber, I'm Talia Hagler. AIM is always looking for new employees to join the team. To see what jobs are available or to learn more about the company, visit aimntls.com. Next, we'd like to recognize our 2021 Joan Kovach Safety Leadership Award recipient, the Gasser Chair Company. Gasser has excelled at developing a company-wide safety culture that has been a top priority since the company was founded 75 years ago. Claudia Kovach presented the award, which is named in honor of her mother. When we were little and we would go to church, my mom would say, you always have to pray for everyone who works at CMT. And, um, We've always prayed for everybody who works with us, and uh, my mom always wanted to send everybody home with 10 fingers, 10 toes, two eyes, you know, everything that they came to work with, so safety was always very important to her. We've always had a safety culture here at the company back when the company started, when I was working with the company literally in a barn in high school, my uncle was just adamant about safety. and. Uh, and so it's a culture we grew up with, which just seems normal, it seems the right thing to do, and so we continue with that today. Uh, we have many different facets of manufacturing, and each one of them has their own safety concerns, and we pay particular attention to each one before we put a machine or a process into the operation. Gasser Chair is celebrating its 75th anniversary this year. President Mark Gasser says the Joan Kovach Award is something they've always hoped to receive, so this is a huge milestone in their safety program. Gasser will be featured in our upcoming Mahoning Valley Safety Council webinar on April 7th, and we'll be discussing their safety culture. Go to our website, regionalchamber.com, for more information. We hope you enjoyed this edition of Take 5, and we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. With the Regional Chamber, I'm Kim Calvert. Take 5 with the Regional Chamber is produced by Mahoning Valley Productions, where we tell your stories.